morning students this is our ninth video class for 12th computer science in the previous two classes we were talking about python functions functions are nothing but a group of related statements that perform a specific task there are four types of functions in python user defined function built in function lambda function and recursive function for user defined function we should use the keyword def and then we have to give the function name and then the list of parameters and then a block of statements and then a return statement is used return statement usually exits a function and it is used to pass back an expression to the caller also we know how to call a function passing parameters in the function in the function definition these are called as parameters in a function call these are called as arguments there are four types of arguments required arguments keyword arguments default arguments and variable length arguments and then we went to anonymous function second one anonymous function usually we define a function using the def keyword but in anonymous function we were using the lambda keyword for anonymous function then we talked about return statement and the syntax for return statement scope of variables there are two scope file scope and global scope sorry file scope is in c++ here local scope and global scope and then we went to the third one built in functions built in by default by installing the software these functions will automatically work in your interpreter these are called as built in functions we saw some of the built in function and in today's class we are going to talk about the mathematical functions using math module for using this function we have to import the math module previous functions and all we are directly using it in the print statement but these functions we have to use math dot so there are three functions floor seal and square root all these functions we have to import the math module how to import it using math dot floor we know what is a floor tare ceiling means roof floor na keele ceiling na mele floor returns the largest integer less than or equal to x 26.7 usually if there is a decimal decimal digit and if it is more than 0.5 or equal to 0.5 means will take the next integer but in case of floor function 26 ka apra enna decimal point irundalume it takes only the 26 that is floor for minus 26.7 it is the opposite of number line you have to know the number line minus 26.7 na it will display it as minus 27 next one is seal seal na mel en solirken adhigam returns the smallest integer greater than or equal to x 26 ku apram unakku enna decimal digit irundhalume adai vida adhigam next digit da unakku display pannu we all are very familiar with square root function it displays the root value of the given number but most important thing is the number must be greater than 0 so these three functions floor function seal function and square root function we have to import the math module next topic we are going to see is composition in functions the value returned by a function may be used as an argument for another function in a nested manner or function la irund kedaikira output ah nam innor function la input ah use pannumna that is called as composition in function for example if we wish to take a numeric value or an expression as a input from the user we take input string from the user using input keyword and apply eval to evaluate its value if you want to get a numerical value and expression from a user so how to get the numerical value using the int keyword 
and for getting the expression we are using the eval keyword so let us see this with an example see n1 equal to eval keyword you have to use the input keyword enter an expression see it is asking for an expression i am giving 12.0 plus 13.0 into 2 and by displaying the n1 value it shows the output so for getting an expression as an input from the user we need to make use of the eval keyword so the fourth type of function is recursive function we all know what is a recursion function a function that calls itself is called an recursive function when a function calls itself is known as recursion recursion works like a loop but sometimes it makes more sense than a loop you can convert any loop into recursion so a recursion is a function that calls itself or a function that is called as recursive function imagine a process would iterate indefinitely if not stopped by some condition or loop irundichina edho or condition irundichina condition satisfy aagara varaiku loop work aayite irukum condition satisfy aayiduchina loop exit aayidum if no condition is specified and the loop la endha condition me kudukleena that will run indefinitely ethana number of time thirumba thirumba and the loop en aayite irukum rotate aayite irukum that is called as infinite iteration so a loop continues without a condition means that is called as infinite iteration the condition that is applied in a recursive function is known as base condition or function la or condition kuduthirundhom appadina that condition is called as base condition if it satisfies the base condition it will come out of the loop otherwise it will rotate again and again and if a condition is not specified means it will become an infinite loop that will rotate again and again see factorial program is given as an example for recursive function see this program so don't care about this so hash is used as an comment in python if i give hash means that program will not get executed that line of code will not get executed see the factorial program i am giving the def keyword and the function name and the parameter i am giving within i am returning a line of code and outside the function i am using the print function and calling the function that is defined by me and passing an argument that is 5 when this line is executed the function fact will be called passed with an argument 5 it will go to here and n value becomes 5 see this is the base condition this condition is not satisfied so it comes to the else statement so it will become 5 into fact of 4 so a function that calls the same function is called as recursive function now it becomes 5 into fact of 4 and when again it will go to the loop it becomes 5 into 4 into fact of 3 and again it will go 5 into 4 into 3 into fact of 2 and when the n value becomes 0 it will return 1 finally it will display the output you iterate the program with the paper and pencil and find out how the program works the main important thing you have to know in this is in python this iteration will go only for 
thousand times suppose i am giving the value as 2000 here means see what happens it is showing an error that maximum recursion depth exceeded so the maximum recursion is 1000 only suppose if i have want to know the factorial of 2000 that is i want to run my iteration for more than 1000 time means i have to use this import sys and i have to set the set recursion limit as 3000 so usually in python by default the iteration will go only for 1000 number of times for more than 1000 i have to set the recursion limit then only it will get executed the answer will be displayed like this so let us go to the theory part recursive function is called by some external code the function is a recursive function it should be called by some external code if the base condition is met the program gives meaningful output and exit this condition is the base condition if this condition gets satisfied na it will give the output and exit the program otherwise it will continue the loop this is called as recursive function and print 2000 will give a run time error because python stops calling the recursive function after 1000 calls by default but using set recursion limit we can increase the value of that by this this lesson gets over see the hands on experience we know how this function print works c eval square root seal floor apps so we know everything so you have to find out the answer write your answer in this space in your book and take a photo and then send it to me in our whatsapp group now we will move to our one mark part the first one mark is a named blocks of code that are designed to do one specific job is called as function a function which calls itself is called as recursion which function is called as anonymous function lambda functions are called as anonymous function which of the following keyword is used to begin the function block def keyword which of the following keyword is used to exit a function return used to exit a function while defining a function which of the following symbol is used colon is used while defining a function in which arguments the correct positional order is passed to a function correct order that is required arguments read the code and choose the correct statement in python you have to mention have you don't have to mention the specific data type while defining a function yes usually we mention the function as int long in c++ but in python we no need to specify the integer type specific data type so this is true python keywords can be used as function name this is false python keywords cannot be used as function name so the answer is one is correct and two is wrong see the next one if dash print x is a leap year if x modulo 4 equal to equal to 0 then it is a leap year which of the following keyword is used to define a function test python for defining a function we have to use the def keyword for all the two marks and three marks i have sent you the pdf the first three five marks the first five mark we have covered half and today we have covered the remaining part second and third five mark we have studied already and see the fourth five mark question write a python code to find the lcm of two numbers what is lcm least common multiple suppose i am taking the number 1 as 3 and the number 2 as 5 means the multiples of 3 are 3 6 9 15 18 sorry 
eighteen and it goes on. Likewise, the multiples are five or five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and it goes on. See, the multiples of these two number are five. We have to find the common multiple. Three is not common. Six is not common. Nine is not common. Twelve is not common. See, fifteen is common in both. We have to find the common multiple. Which is the least one, and we have to write a program for that. See what I have done in the program. I am getting a number from the user, and second number from the user. And checking which is the minimum number and storing it in the variable min. So, uh, what is the condition I have given? If my minimum number modulo number one equal to equal to zero and minimum modulo number two equal to equal to zero, then that is the LCM of the two numbers. And I have to come out of that. If this is not true, means it will increment the minimum value by one. So, if this condition is true, it will print and come out of the loop. If this condition is false, it will increment the number and then again check the condition. Take a paper and pencil, execute this program, iterate through each and every step, and then find out the working of this program. I am running this program. See what it is asking. It is asking the number. is asking for the number 1 i am giving it as 3 and then it is asking for number 2 i am giving 5 see it is showing the lcm as 15 so don't just copy the program take a pencil and paper iterate through each and every step of the program and have to understand how this program works that's it thank you students